For those of you who saw my previous video, I did pick up the mouse blockbuster bundle from Glorious Gaming, but I also picked up their compact GMMK white ice edition as well. You can see me unboxing it right here. Pretty good packaging. I take it out and looks nice. You got the 60% with the white keys, uh, double shot ABS. This cap locks key was crooked. They need to check their QA. So the stock Gatoron Browns are serviceable, but they can sound much better. For one, when you press on them, they're pretty scratchy. There is a little bit of a ping. And the stabilizers, while better than most, still could use some upgrading. So took out all the keycaps, decided to upgrade. I am using my own switch puller because the included switch puller it's not very good. The stabilizers surprisingly don't really have wobble. It's very minimal to none. But I decided that I am going to use the Band-Aid and Lubing upgrade for them. I will use a wooden toothpick and you see me pull the top tabs right there and pull them out. I'm using the wooden chopsticks because I don't want to scratch the plastic at all. I did have these stabilizer foam stickers from KBD fans. But I actually decided to save that for another project and instead wanted to go with the butterfly closures. As you can see, they're actually white, which matches the white ice. The size is near perfect with just a little bit of trimming required to put it in. And the thickness of it I think is actually perfect for the stabilizers to hit up against. I've never seen anybody else do this, so I'm quite proud I made the discovery in my first aid kit. Looks nice. Color matches well too, it's not just it's dull beige. I didn't show the process of actually putting the stabilizer films in, but I did just use a tweezer to help position it into place. Now if you look at these stabilizers, they're actually pre-lubed, but there's not a lot of lube, so I decided to wipe it off and start all over with my own lube. First, I'm going to make the bottom of the stabilizers flat. Instead of actually cutting off the whole tab, um, I did it a little different where I just cut it off to make the bottom flush. So I'm cutting off those tiny little tabs that hit up against the floor of the keyboard. You can do it either way. Just didn't want to mutilate my stabs as much as possible. The lube that I'm using is Crytox 205 grade zero. I know some people use dielectric grease, but Crytox 205 grade zero is a great lubricant for the stabs. So as you can see, this isn't a tutorial or an explanation or anything. I will go over some maybe interesting parts of the upgrade that I made, but it's just kind of an overview of how I upgraded this GMMK white ice to the Thaki edition. I did actually want to test what the Gatoron Browns felt like, sounded like when they were looped, so I decided to move a couple and test it out to make my decision. 
When opening a couple of these switches though, I, I saw that they were looped, kind of. Some of them were stabbed, some of them weren't. They were really weird and inconsistent in the way that they were looped. If you can see right here, you can see that there's a little bit of loop right there. It was really weird. This is another one with some weird lube on the side right there. I don't know if they used used switches or what was going on. I find it really odd and I've never seen that before. Since these were test switches, I didn't do like the spring bag trick with the lubrication. I just did lubricated the spring a little bit. And when I do the actual stem, usually I will do the bottom of it, but I wanted to see what it felt like without the bottom. So you can see right here, I don't do it. Because the GMMK compact doesn't support five pin, I had to go with the three pin switch. And conveniently their glorious panda switches were also on sale on Black Friday. So I decided to test it with that. So you see me lubing them glorious pandas. So here are my impressions. For the Gateron Brown Lube with Crytox, smooth with a little bit of a tactile bump, not too tactile. Gateron Brown with no lubes, scratchy, slight ping in the noise, not very pleasant. Glorious Panda with Crytox, smooth. It loses a little bit of tactility, but it's still there. The Glorious Panda without lube, still tactile, Less smooth, but a loud ping, louder than the Gat Browns. After that last test, I decided to try two more switches with different lubes. So I did a Gap Brown with Tribosis 3204 and a Glorious Panda lubed with the Tribosis 3204. So the Gap Browns with the Tribosis was a little less smooth, a little scratchier, but still better than unlubed. The Glorious Pandas lubed with the Tribosis very similar to the ones with the Crytox. It's actually a little hard to tell, but I think I'm going to go with this one because it actually has a little bit more tactility than the Crytox. And so I lubed the Glorious Panda switches with the Tribosis put them in one by one as you can see right here.
hear that Taki goodness? From unlubed Gatoron Browns to lubed Glorious Pandas with Tribosis, it's just that Taki goodness. Thanks for watching.